Hi there, my name's Matt Taylor and I've come to the Vestry House Garden to show you around the Poets for Sales exhibition. I'm the social media volunteer for Vestry House Museum. In the garden at the moment we've got 30 poems all on for sale signs and they're part of an exhibition that was in the E17 Art Trail. Uh, it was organised by Barry Coyden and other local residents from Poets Corner in Walthamstow. So I want to take you around, you can see some of the poems and meet some of the people who wrote and chose them and find out why. Uh, hello, my name is Philip Creasy and uh, behind me is the poem that I had outside my house in Howard Road and it's called From Far From Even Morning and it's from a collection by the poet Houseman of about a hundred poems that tells a story um, about a young soldier and he gets into trouble and it's, there's a fairly bleak feeling to it. But the reason I chose it, this particular poem, it was one that was used in a song cycle by Vaughan Williams called On Wenlock Edge. And I have here um, the score of On Wenlock Edge and this particular song is just very beautiful, very thoughtful about life and what happens when we leave it. Um, and it's just so evocative of lyrical rural Shropshire in the late 19th century. Hello, I'm Seema Arampasad from Byron Road um, of Poets Corner. I chose Dante's Divine Comedy because uh, Barry, who's my partner in crime with this project, said we should definitely have some international poems. My husband's Italian and I thought it'd be good to have something that's Italian outside our house. Um, so hence the reason for me choosing Dante's Divine Comedy. I'm Linda MacDonald and I live in Howard Road, which is part of Poets Corner, and I chose Pablo Neruda as my poet, who is a Chilean poet and a political activist. And I love the poem because it conjured up amazing images of the universe that just spoke to me and inspired me to do an embroidery based on the poem. The second verse I preferred to this one, but actually there was I, I ran out of room so I couldn't write it on. Um, but it's just a really beautiful poem and I love it. Hello, my name's Elena Poldevart and I live in Aubrey Road. And when Barry suggested that we do poems in our front gardens, I thought how nice to do a poem about sparrows. Because I've got loads of sparrows in my garden and I absolutely love them and we've got lots of them in our streets. So I had a look online for some sparrow poems and all I could find was a load of doggerel. And I thought, well, if I'm going to have doggerel in my front garden, I'll have my own doggerel. So I wrote my first and only ever poem, which is all about my lovely sparrows and my very heavenly garden, which you can't see from the road, but you have to imagine. So I've seen lots of people stop and look at it, and I hope they've enjoyed it as much as I have writing it. Hello, sparrows. Who ever saw just one sparrow? Cheeping, chirping, fighting, flirting. Summer's here and I'm joining my sparrows in our garden heaven. Uh, my name's Greg, I live in Milton Road. Uh, I chose this poem by Basho uh, as a, a superb uh, example of the haiku form. 
um, which is very, in, in Japan is very strict, 17 syllables, uh, 5 syllables, 7 syllables, 5 syllables and 3 lines. This was particularly good, I think, because you can learn so much about uh, Japanese culture just from this, uh, this thing here. Thank you very much for joining me today and looking round with me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. There are loads more poems that we couldn't feature, so please come along and see them. The exhibition's here till the 31st of August. You can follow Vestry House Museum on Twitter at Vestry House, and you can follow Poets Corner at Poets Corner E17. But please don't miss this exhibition.